counted. Now the focus shifts on who's going to govern. For Tennessee, that includes Senator-elect Marsha Blackburn. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Blackburn begins the transition after a resounding win in an open seat against Democrat Phil Bredesen. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in the studio. And Brad, what did you learn? Yeah, Katina and Richard Blackburn told me there's a host of issues she's excited to tackle in January when she's sworn into the U.S. Senate. Her election triumph also showcased the extremely difficult terrain for Tennessee Democrats, now more than a decade since her last statewide electoral victory. The election night victory party came and went. Now Tennessee U.S. Senator-elect Marsha Blackburn looks forward. Tennesseans want to make certain that they have leaders who are not going to kick a can down the road on the issues that affect our nation. Those issues were already on the mind of Blackburn last week when we sat down for an exclusive interview. In the Senate, she wants to cut down on prescription drug costs and build out modern technology across West Tennessee. I'm so committed to expanding rural broadband and making certain that our rural communities have access to high-speed internet. Political observers believe Tennessee's first woman U.S. Senator brings a different set of credentials compared to the state's more recent moderate Republican senators. It'll be a little bit different than uh, the pragmatism of Lamar Alexander, but she's going to pull this state really far to the right when it comes to senatorial politics. Susan Adler Thorpe said Blackburn's double-digit victory against a popular two-term Democratic governor should be a warning sign for that party's future hopes. What are the chances of a Democrat winning a statewide race anytime soon? Not in my lifetime, maybe yours. Um, not that old. Well, now that the votes are counted, Blackbird won all but three of Tennessee's counties. A Democrat last won a statewide race in Tennessee in 2006. Reporting live in the studio, Brad Broder's Local 24 News. Mm -hmm.